Uh, hi everyone. I'm, today I'm going to talk um, to follow the talk of Dustin to talk about a very old framework, five-year-old framework named Sara. But let's go back to the future and let's do a, a little poll. Who know uh, Alice? Oh, yeah. No one. Okay. And uh, who knows Sara? Few people. Okay. So Alice is was uh, one of the first chatbots working with XML to uh, make a, a very simple conversation. And uh, when I did Sarah, I was inspired by this, uh, this way of doing the, the code to, um, to do all the talking. Um, I don't know if you recognize these pictures. It's the movie, uh, a very old movie uh, about Joshua. Joshua who wants to uh, make a global nuclear war. And it's a chatbot, and it was a dream of developer, like many people, to talk to a bot to have answers. And in this movie, uh, like Dustin said, uh, there is a voice of Joshua, because if you want to have a chatbot working very, very well, you have to, to have a character, to have a, uh, someone talking, and you have to, you need a really a voice. And that's why a few years later, Alexa and the Cortana comes with a device, and um, we talk a voice, um, a voice UI. I would say native UI. You need your voice, but you need gesture, you need uh, object recognition, you need many things because you don't want to type to, to do something. You want to speak freely and to have something. And uh, I was playing uh, ten years ago uh, a game, and. Uh, uh, I had a Kinect on my computer, and I realized that my Kinect was listening to my wife five meters away. And I got a gotcha. Wow, I have a microphone that can listen to me five, ten meters from me. And it was very interesting because it was the key to be listened in home, to send commands, to, and to, to do many things. And that's why I created Sarah, uh, inspired by an American TV show. Uh, not really here in France, about a smart home uh, connected to every IoT things and uh, with voice recognition and many other stuff like that. Yep. Just it starts, yes. So uh, to make it short, I will show you a little video of two minutes of a user using Sarah at home four years ago. I'm sorry, it's in French, but I think you will understand what he do. Sur le frigo pour l'instant, la tablette qui gère euh, ma domotique, avec notamment l'alarme. L'alarme est maintenant activée. Désactivation de l'alarme. Plein old school domotique. Sarah, éteins la cuisine, s'il te plaît. La cuisine est éteinte. Euh, Sarah est en liaison avec euh, XBMC pour gérer la musique, donc il suffit de demander à l'artiste. Sarah, je veux écouter ACDC. Je m'en occupe. Ça marche bien sûr avec euh, n'importe quel artiste de la bibliothèque. Sarah, je veux écouter Amy Winehouse. Je m'en occupe. Et vous voyez, même avec mon accent anglais lamentable, ça marche. Sarah, mets en pause la musique. Je m'en occupe. On va aller regarder la télé un petit peu. Sarah, ferme tous les stores, s'il te plaît. Tous les stores se ferment. Voilà, donc on peut tranquillement aller vers le salon. On va attendre que les stores finissent de se fermer pour le bruit. Voilà, dans quelques secondes, c'est chose faite. Sarah, remets le son. Sarah, mets e-télé. Sarah, chaîne suivante. Sarah, coupe le son. 
Voilà. Et si j'étais le matin, j'aurais tendance à dire « Sarah, c'est Jérôme, je pars au boulot. » Au revoir Jérôme, j'enclenche l'alarme et je t'ouvre le portail. L'alarme est maintenant activée. Et le portail s'ouvre. So here is how, uh, how Sarah works uh, four years ago. And uh, there I could see many, many, many use cases uh, with Sarah. I will talk to you about this use case later. How it works, it's very plain old tech. You have an XML to describe voice command. It's a voice command, it's not natural language recognition. And uh, it works because every family put its own sentences. So if you say, uh, Sarah, switch on the line, the light, it's your way to say it. So naturally, you will say it. But it's not perfect, but it works. It use, uh, it's on Windows. It uses an old technology of Microsoft to do uh, speech recognitions. And it uses a microphone of Kinect, which uh, listens to you 10 meters away. Uh, and I put in Sarah many, many, many features like uh, recognition of QR code, recognition of gesture. I, put, I send a gesture, a swipe, for instance, and I switch on light and things like that. Uh, the idea is to test re, uh, really, really uh, native user interface. And uh, when it match a sentence, a QR code, a gesture, it send an HTTP request to a Node.js server. And on the server, people install plugins and uh, nowadays there is uh, 150 plugins of people wanting to uh, say the meteo and do many, many things like that. Uh, the community is uh, more than 5,000 people on Google Plus, but uh, it's an open source project, so I don't know who really use Sarah. Uh, I know she is in India, in the US, in Brazil, but I don't know what people do with Sarah. At the beginning, uh, I, there was a, a truck driver who put Sarah in its truck because it's offline and uh, go to the road with Sarah. The thing is, its wife was jealous <laughs> because uh, he, he go to the road with another one. But it was very interesting to know, uh, to see uh, how people put Sarah in someone in the character. Uh, we play with uh, Zoe from Reno to put in home how uh, all data from Zoe. For instance, you can uh, charge your Zoe uh, from home and you don't, don't want to go outside or use your mobile app to do that. You know the, the battery level and things like that. Uh, Sarah is a voice in some movies like her. They decided to have only a voice, but some people of the community wanted to put a face on it. One way to do it is a user who put a mask with eyes, it's like a Terminator, but uh, it's interesting how they did that. Uh, on Alexa, uh, they put the talking fish that uh, talk uh, and move. Another way to do that is to use holograms. With holograms, you put something and, uh, and it moves and so on. In uh, domotic, in home automation, there's a box that provides a hologram like that. Uh, a new thing that I, I did a few months ago is a connected uh, bar, connected cocktail. The idea is you say to Sarah, please make me an apple juice, and uh, it make it, or you touch the apple, and it, it makes the, the joys. It's a funny thing. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it's not only the voice, but it's also computer vision that is coming this year. And uh, the idea is to say, hey, Sarah, what I have in the hand? and do uh, um, computer vision, object recognition, and they say, oh, I see uh, this or that object. As a developer, it works pretty well, but it's not uh, already ready for consumers. Uh, the thing is, Sarah is an old tech, and uh, I'm moving on a new version, version 5, with a completely uh, reworking of the framework. Why? Because open, so uh, open source framework for boats are everywhere, everyone is using chatbots, everyone doing lots of things. So, uh, Google, uh, Microsoft, Amazon have their own assistant and it's very hard for Sarah to, to survive. So, uh, and 
there is um, an overtake lunch about boats, so I will skip this slide. The idea is that a boat, it's many, many things, many user interaction, many way to talk to people, like we said in the previous talk. So we started to do a framework based on Node-RED that will be the next version of Sara and put everything in open source based on bots and later bots will talk, will listen, will uh, recognize images and it's another way to, to compete with a very, very large uh, uh, GAFA. The stack of the next version of, of Sara will realize on Node-RED. Node-RED, it's uh, a way to put some nodes and you say, uh, I receive a message, I understand the, the kind of the message, the entities, the natural language processing. Then I will answer something or I will ask a third party REST API to do something or to activate an IoT things. In our life, it's like that. It's uh, lots of nodes. So it's easy for someone who is not a developer and for the Sarah community, it's about 50 persons uh, to create use case for its own usage. It's still complicated, but it's more visual, more easy to do it. And what's next? At the Microsoft build, there was computer vision where they show uh, to recognize lots of uh, things in the images. So uh, we create a boat. You take a picture with your phone. It recognizes faces. It recognizes how um, uh, the objects are taken. It recognizes celebrities. And the idea is to move that to a simple camera. And the flow is looking like that because there are many, many, many use cases. If you want to test it, it's uh, irma.viseo.net or it's a Facebook Messenger uh, QR code. Another usage more IoT is uh, I have camera at home and I have a smart TV and display uh, things in overlay. The idea is to uh, get notified of a motion take the video, convert it to an uh, animated GIF, move it to the, uh, to the TV, and create use case. For instance, uh, the post ring at the, at the door, and uh, you, uh, you, you push on the TV, hey, move on, someone is, uh, is, uh, is ringing at the door, here is his face, uh, maybe you, you can do uh, face recognition, it's always the same post, uh, postman, and so on. You can uh, really think about use case, and putting uh, nodes uh, aside. And uh, one last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, we're talking about assistants. We're talking about uh, how we can interact with them. I really believe in uh, social VR. I think VR are coming everywhere. Social VR, the way you talk in virtual reality is coming more and more. And I think that assistant will be there too. You will be in the, in the virtual reality, you will be talking with someone, and you will have a virtual boat, a SAR, for instance, that will uh, help you uh, do tasks in the virtual reality. So uh, I think it will come in a few years, or maybe sooner. Thank you.